Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Let's Crack It with Satyajit. Today we are diving deep into an essential topic for all SSC JE and RRB aspirants. The topic is the concept of resistance, inductance and capacitance. So these are fundamentals to electrical circuits and can easily show up in your exams. So let's simplify these for you so you can crack any question in your competitive exams. Chapter 1 What is resistance? So first up, resistance in simple terms is the opposition a material offers to the flow of electrical current. It's like when you try to move water through a narrow pipe. The narrower the pipe, the more difficult it is for the water to pass. Similarly, in a conductor, resistance restricts the flow of electrons. Now, resistance is measured in ohms and calculated using ohms law which I have already discussed in a different video. So now the Ohm's law states that uh, for calculating resistance, R is equal to V upon I, where R is the resistance, V is the voltage and I is the current. So now let's go deep. Chapter 2 Factors Affecting Resistance Now what are the factors affecting resistance? Let's break it down. We have a formula of resistance that is R is equal to rho L by A where R is the resistance of the conductor, Rho is the resistivity of the material, L is the length of the conductor and A is the area of cross section of the conductor. So first point is material of the conductor. Different materials have different levels of resistivity like copper for example has low resistivity making it a great conductor. The second point is length of the conductor. The longer the conductor, the higher the resistance. So if you have two lengths of wire, which is one is longer and one is shorter, then the longer one will have the higher resistance compared to the shorter one. Next we have the cross-sectional area. If we have two different wires with different thickness, then the thicker will have thicker wire will have less resistance compared to the thinner one. The fourth point is very important that is temperature. So as temperature increases, Resistance usually increases in conductors because atoms vibrate more and create more hindrance for the electrons. Hence, if we increase the temperature, generally in conductors, the resistance also increases. Chapter 3 Understanding Inductance Moving on to inductance, inductance is the property of a conductor, especially in coils that opposes any change in the current flowing through it. It is measured in Henry. So, when current flows through a conductor or a coil, it creates a magnetic field around it. The inductance depends on the number of turns in the coil, the area of the coil and the material inside the coil, like if you have a core. Inductors are key components in AC circuits often used to smooth out the current fluctuations. Chapter 4 Factors Affecting Inductance The inductance of a coil depends on several factors. Number 1 number of turns in the coil. So if you have more turns in then it will increase the inductance. Number two core material. If the coil is just in air then the inductance will be less. If it has a magnetic material like iron that can increase the inductance very significantly. Next number three coil length or cross sectional area. So a longer coil or one with large cross sectional area also increases the inductance. So these are the few factors that will increase the inductance. Make note that inductance is a material or a factor in the AC circuit that does not allow the sudden change in a current. So any current that is changed due to any circuit condition will gradually change itself rather than having a spike. Chapter 5 Capacitance and its roles in AC circuit. Next we have capacitance measured in farads and it has the ability of a component to store electrical energy in an electric field between two conductive plates separated by an insulated material or sometimes we call it a dielectric. So capacitors are used to store and release energy, smooth voltage fluctuations and filter out signals in the circuit. Think of a capacitor as a small battery that can charge and discharge very quickly. Chapter 6 Factors Affecting Capacitance There are several factors that influence the capacitance of a capacitor. We have a formula 
C is equal to AF salon by D, where A is the area of the plates of the capacitor, D is the distance between the plates, and F salon is the permittivity of the material used. So, if we have larger plates that can store more charge, increases the capacitance. If the distance between the plates is made closer, then also we have increase in the capacitance. And if you use a dielectric material, then the dielectric constant is also high and then it also increases the capacitance. So, chapter 7 Practical examples of RL or RC circuits in exams. Now that we know the basics, let's talk about how these elements work together in the circuits like RC and RL circuits, which are common in your SSC JE and RRB exams. Number 1 RC circuit. In an RC circuit, the resistance slows down the current while the capacitor charges or discharges, creating a time delay. In RL circuits, the inductor resists the change in current, creating a delay in reaching the steady state current. Understanding these delays is very crucial for analyzing circuit behaviors. Chapter 8 Key Exam Questions to Practice Alright, let's discuss a few important questions that often come up in competitive exams. Number 1 What is the effect of temperature on resistance in a conductor? And the answer is If the temperature increases, Resistance also increases in most of the conductors. Question number 2. How does the number of turns in a coil affect the inductance? The answer is, if you have more turns in the coil, then it will increase the inductance. Question number 3. What happens to the capacitance if the distance between the plates of the capacitor increases? So, if the distance is increased, then the capacitance will decrease because distance is inversely proportional to the capacitance. Now that wraps up our deep dive into resistance, inductance and capacitance. I hope this helped you understand the key concepts and factors that affect these components. Be sure to practice more problems related to these topics as they are frequently show up in your SSC JE or RRB exams. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and stay subscribe to Let's Crack It with Satyajit for more exam preparation content. Stay tuned for more videos on electrical engineering concepts and SSC JE and RRB exams. I will be discussing the complete syllabus of SSC JE for the paper 2 which is on November 5th. Thank you.